today I'm going to show you guys how to play notes, how to play some chords, and what the difference is. That question does come up. I'm going to help clarify that for you. Let's zoom in. Okay, so the difference between notes and chords. Let's start there. Okay, a note is a single unit of sound, essentially. So this would be a note, the open E string, or maybe your A string, but not together like that. That creates something different. We're getting there in a second. A note could be, I don't know, second fret of your D string. It could be the third fret of the B string. Those are all individual notes, single units of sound. And whenever you put them together in different orders in different ways, you can kind of create different, uh, what's called melodies. So I'll give you an example. Okay, a little bluesy something, you know, I don't know. And that gives me a melody. Riffs come out of that, okay? Um, and so what you're going to get is just melodic lines. When a singer sings, they're singing a series of notes to create a melody. Now, chords are a different animal. Whenever you start stacking notes together, technically, if you stack more than one note together, that is two notes minimum, you're going to get a chord, okay? Much more common for three notes or more, but technically two notes, two melodic little units of sound will create a chord. They'll have a relationship together, and every note has a different relationship with a different note in a certain distance. You get it. Check this out. Here's a chord. Now, you guys have probably even learned these at some point, right? These are all chords, okay? They can be as complex as something like this, or something as simple as this. Right? And so I'm going to go ahead and get into a little bit more detail. Whenever you slam together two notes or more, you get a chord, and each one of those notes is going to affect it differently. Let's just have a little fun. Let's go ahead and play, I don't know, let's go ahead and play the note of A on the E string. I'm just making this up as I go. We're having fun. I'm going to go ahead and play, uh, you know what? Let's play the third fret of the A string. Now, if I play those separately, one at a time, that gives me a melodic phrase. That's not a chord. These are two notes. But if I play those two notes together at the same time, can you hear that? I'm kind of cheating here over here. But that gives me a, oh, interesting, that sounds kind of cool. What if I scoot that note back to the third fret? Oh, interesting. What if I bring it up to the fifth fret with me. How about the sixth fret? Ooh, that's kind of cool. It sounds a little spooky. What about if I bring it to up to the fifth fret? Okay, power chord, nice. Interesting. They all have a different kind of relationship, and I didn't even move this one. And that's where you get into interval training. We're not going to go there, but how notes relate will give you these different sounds. So you'll have I'm sorry, uh, yeah, so you have chords, like the major chords, which is a one, three, five. You have minor chords, which is a one, flat, three, five. You've got yourself then the kind of the next level, which is dominant seven chords. Kind of bluesy stuff. You've got yourself major sevens. Isn't that great? You're gonna get all kinds of fun stuff in here. Everyone loves that sound, right? It's a major seven, it's one, three, five, seven. Just a certain order of notes together, a certain relationship. That goes on and on. But basically, notes are single units of uh, music or single units of sound, and chords are combination of those notes. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and consider becoming a Patreon member where I release exclusive content and I put up really fancy, well done kind of. Uh, chords and tabs and demonstrations of what it is that I'm teaching on this channel for free. Also, I am teaching always, I'll be always teaching guitar. If you guys want a lesson, 
I would love to teach you. I'm not cheap, but I'm really good. I've been doing it a long time, and I would be honored to help you in your journey of playing guitar. Thank you.